Apple just released iPadOS 26 with a fresh new look and loads of exciting new features. But if you use your iPad for music production, should you even contemplate upgrading right now? I've extensively tested the developer and public betas for iPadOS 26 over the last few months. And besides the cool new system level audio routing features, what really stood out to me is how stable it was. I want to see if that stability carries over to the full release and if Apple have managed to achieve the impossible. A major iPadOS update that doesn't break music production apps. Fingers crossed, eh? Quick note here, I haven't updated any apps prior to this testing. There actually aren't any updates available yet at the time of making this video, even for Apple-made music production apps, so just keep that in mind. I'll start by checking out some iPad DAWs then. In the developer and public betas of iPadOS 26, there was a big issue with GarageBand where with Windows apps activated, that's the multitasking mode that lets you have multiple apps open at the same time in their own resizable windows, resizing GarageBand's window mid-project would cause it to freeze and become unresponsive. This seems to have been fixed in the full release of iPadOS 26 and must have been an operating system issue. Everything else in the app works as it should, though you still can't resize GarageBand's window beyond this size, which I find a bit strange considering in Logic Pro you can resize its window to whatever dimensions you want. Speaking of Logic Pro, that worked pretty much perfectly in the beta version of iPadOS 26, and that hasn't changed here, though rather disappointingly, the app's menu hasn't been refined from the messy implementation we saw in previous beta versions. You can still only select from all the keyboard shortcuts, which isn't particularly helpful really, and you have some window controls and a help function. It's a far cry from GarageBand's actually useful menus. Other iPad DAWs are all surprisingly stable too. Cubasis 3 works exactly as it should, though just like GarageBand, you can't resize the window much. It does have a fully formatted menu though. Drambo allows you to resize its window to whatever dimensions you want, though it seems to be missing a menu altogether for some reason. Other DAWs like Loopy Pro, BAM, and BANLAB all work as expected in my testing with varying degrees of window resize ability. Also, when did BANLAB start jamming ads into its loading screens? Ugh. What about instrument apps then? Well, it's all surprisingly smooth sailing here too. From audio kit apps like King of FM and Synth 1J6, to Solderbox, Iconica Sketch, Ravenscroft 275, and Moog Model D all work without any issues in standalone mode. Loading these instruments up as AU instruments inside GarageBand and Logic Pro works completely as expected too. I can even still load up ancient, basically unsupported apps like Sensual Sacked, for example, into GarageBand via inter-app audio, and it appears in its own separate window and can be recorded into an audio track.
I had the same positive experience with every Effect app I tried as well. I'm genuinely pleasantly surprised that all of this stuff, on the surface anyway, just seems to work. This is just my preliminary and incredibly unscientific testing, but so far so good. But I need your help for the next bit. If you've decided to update to iPadOS 26, please leave a comment with your positive or negative experiences with music production apps. It would be great to get an idea if everyone has had a similarly pain-free upgrade experience, or whether I've just been very, very lucky. If you found this video helpful, give that like button a good hard slap while you're down there. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. And if you want to see how Mac users are getting on with the latest version of macOS 26 Tahoe, watch this video next. This is just my preliminary... That's a hard word to say. This is just my preliminary... Preliminary... This is just my... Preliminary... <laughs> This is just my preliminary. This is just my preliminary. Pre <laughs>